uh, I'll, I'll just give you uh, one simple problem to uh, think and solve. So the question is uh, calculate x component of the force. So fx is the x component of the force uh, for a pair of Coulomb particles. So that's the question. So calculate the force uh, between a pair of Coulomb particles. You can take uh, five minutes to uh, to solve it and get back. Welcome back. Uh, so the question was calculate uh, the x component of force between a pair of Coulomb particles. So what I mean by Coulomb particles? Uh, so basically, uh, I, I just indirectly said that the particles are uh, charged. And when the particles are charged, you basically calculate their potential by using the Coulomb's law. Um, so the particles which uh, can be um, whose potential can be calculated using the Coulomb's law, I call them as Coulomb particles. So what would be uh, the force between two uh, such charged particles? Um, so, so the hint is uh, to calculate the force, you have to know the potential. So force is nothing but the gradient of potential. So if I know the um, potential between two particles, then you can get the force and you know the potential between two charged particles. So the potential between two charged particles we already have saw, uh, saw that we already have seen is z i z z divided by 4 phi epsilon 0 r i z. So if you have that potential you basically take the gradient of negative gradient of that and you get the force. But here I want the x component of the force. So how do you go about it? So to get the force component of x, uh, we have to make use of uh, thermodynamic, uh, uh, some thermodynamic uh, uh, rules. Uh, so one such rule is what we'll be employing here. So when I said the x component of force, so I'm basically trying to get del u del x. So now since I want in x component, I take the potential, I, I take the gradient in x component only. So minus del u del x, I can write as del u del r and I can write this as del r del x. I'm sure you have uh, um, seen this uh, multiplicity relation in thermodynamics. So, del u del x you can write as del u del r uh, dot del r del x and now let's find out what is del u del r and what is del r del x. So, your u was z i z z divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r. So my del u del r is equal to minus, uh, okay I can give i here, yeah. So my del u del r i is minus z i z z divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r i square. Yeah, r i j is the interparticle uh, distance we are talking about. 
So, is uh, minus uh, zeta is at the 4 pi epsilon 0 i j square. So, this is my del u del r. What would be my uh, del r del x? Uh, we know r is equal to x square plus y square plus z square to the power half. So, therefore, my del r del x would be minus half, uh, sorry, uh, it would be uh, half 2x and then uh, we have x square plus y square plus z square to the power minus half is a simple derivative and so that is nothing but x divided by r. So, if you put them together what we get is minus x by r z i z j divided by 4 pi epsilon 0. So, these are nothing but i j i j or i j square. So, f x is x by r to uh, in this uh, negative sign. Yes. So, here we had a negative sign and here from delhi we got another neg negative sign there. So, that negative negative becomes positive. So, this is my x component of force uh, acting between two particles which are having charge. Uh, likewise, uh, I guess you can calculate the x or y component of force between uh, two Lagrangian's particles and I am giving you uh, again some time to calculate the force between two Lagrangian's particles.